On this episode of China Uncensored, live election coverage from Beijing, sort of. Welcome back to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. As a member of the media, I have to say that nothing gets us more excited than an election. It's like sports for news. Winners and losers, ridiculous 3D graphics, and 30 people yelling over each other on live television. Plus, who doesn't love a surprise ending? One of the most extraordinary elections any of us have ever seen. Well, since China Uncensored is about China, I had to watch the U.S. elections from the sidelines last year. But now, it's my turn. It's what I've been waiting for for the last five years. Yes, it's time for the 19th National Party Congress of the Communist Party of China. Think of it like the Republican or Democratic National Conventions. Participants travel from across the country wearing the colorful native dress of their regions. It's a hugely staged event where delegates vote on predetermined outcomes. And there are some crazy after parties. I hear former Premier Zhu Rongji throws the best EDM ragers, if that's your thing. But there is one tiny little difference. Since the Communist Party is the only party in China, the people they choose at their Congress will be the ones who rule the country for the next five years. You see, as an organization, the Chinese Communist Party sits on top of the Chinese government like a giant parasite, the kind that mind controls its host into doing whatever the parasite wants. So while the party's top leaders also hold government positions, it's their party positions that really count. For example, Xi Jinping holds the title of president, but he was only appointed president because he holds the top communist party position, general secretary. But most people outside China don't understand how this works. So the 19th Party Congress is a great opportunity for state-run media to make up complete lies about how China has democracy and meaningful elections. During the party's National Congress, elections are also held for the Central Committee and the Central Commission for Discipline Inspection. Yes, it's just like an election. And that's why, even with no ballots cast yet, we here at China Uncensored are able to project with 99.9% .9 certainty that Xi Jinping will be elected to another five-year term as head of the Communist Party. It's a bold prediction, but we will stake our reputation on it. But just because Xi Jinping isn't going anywhere doesn't mean there's nothing to watch here. There's been huge speculation about who's going to be in the next Politburo Standing Committee, the seven men in charge of the Communist Party. There's even an online game where you can pick your own standing committee, just like fantasy football. They wouldn't take my pick, though, which was she, 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 and she. What? It could happen. In a show of power, Xi Jinping opened the 19th Party Congress on Wednesday by making everyone else sit through his three-and-a-half-hour-long speech. Wow, I guess they don't teach public speaking at the Central Party School. But everyone thoroughly enjoyed the speech, as you can see from this thrilling montage of past and current party officials listening attentively. Xi Jinping's speech was called Secure a Decisive Victory in Building a Moderately Prosperous Society in All Respects and Strive for the Great Success of Socialism with Chinese Characteristics for a New Era. Or to paraphrase, Xi Jinping is large and in charge. But here on China Uncensored, we're not going to just tell you what was in Xi's speech. No, we're taking coverage of the Party Congress to a whole new level. Our very own Shelly Zhang is reporting live from Beijing. Shelly, isn't it great to be back in the motherland? Yeah, Chris, it's great. You don't seem excited. Oh, oh, I'm super excited. You seem kind of upset. Why would I be upset, Chris? I don't know why you'd be upset. This is a great opportunity for some on-the-ground action. Mm, right. Just one question, Chris. Why did you send your only Chinese correspondent to Beijing? Isn't it obvious? You speak the language. You blend in. You can go undercover, get the real story. If I went, I'd stand out like a sore white thumb. Are you kidding me? First of all, I don't blend in. I've had to pretend to be Korean three times today. And 
If you were here and you got caught doing this, yeah, sure, you'd get roughed up a little, accused of being the CIA, and then deported on the next flight back to New York. Me, I could end up spending the next three years in a black jail in Hunan making Christmas lights with only one kidney. Are you suggesting you want to leave? What do you think? No, you can't leave now. China Uncensored is the number one comedy news show about China based in New York. And you're a woman on the ground. You're not a quitter, are you? I can't believe you. Fine, fine. Let's just get this over with. That's great. I knew you wouldn't let us down because you're a team player. So Shelly, tell us about the color on the ground, the atmosphere. Which faction has the best butter cow? No one has a butter cow. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Put on the hat. No. Come on. I'm not putting on the hat. Shelly, we talked about this. No, we talked about it. All right, look, look, look. I'll put on the hat too. Then we'll both be wearing the hat. There. Isn't this more fun already? So much fun. So Shelly, let's get down to it. What's the theme of this year's Congress? National rejuvenation. Really? Yeah, she only said it like 50 times and it... No. So in other words, Xi Jinping wants to make China great again? Yes. And you didn't want to wear the hat. But let's keep going. Are there going to be any surprises during the 19th Party Congress? Without a doubt. Really? Does it involve who's going to be elected to the Politburo Standing Committee? Signs point to yes. Wow. Uh, Can you elaborate on that? Reply hazy. Try again. Wait. Are you... Are you reading this off a magic eight ball? Hey, you have problems with my sources. Why don't you come over here then and I'll go back to New York. Actually, I'm fine here. Look, Chris, there's a reason Chinese politics is called a black box. You can't tell what's really happening because each faction will only leak information that's to their own benefit. So the media might have inside sources, but that means nothing. They have no idea what's going on. So it's exactly like the U.S. election. Except for the part where I'll be arrested for being here. Okay, let's cut to the chase. There's only two things we need to know from the party congress. One, does Xi Jinping have enough power to reshape the Politburo Standing Committee in his image? And two, Does Xi Jinping have enough power to get named chairman of the Communist Party? Chairman, eh? The big C. That would be a huge move. Would she really do that? Don't underestimate Xi Jinping's ambition. Some analysts are like, oh, there's no precedent for doing these things. But since she's been in power, he's completely overhauled the military. He spent five years going after his political enemies, and he's going to change the party to whatever he wants it to be. So you're saying that she's not a presidential kind of guy? Did you really just do that? Pretty good, right? So what about the Politburo Standing Committee? How could he change that? I don't even want to... Come on. What if I promise not to make any more puns? Okay. Deal. It starts with Wang Qishan. She's ally and head of the anti-corruption campaign. Wang is 69, so according to the 7-up, 8-down precedent started by former leader Jiang Zemin, Wang is supposed to retire, but she might try to keep him on anyway. Hmm. So we're looking to see if she can keep him on longer than expected? What did we just talk about? Sorry, sorry, it won't happen again. Okay. If she keeps Wang, it means she is powerful enough to shake things up, especially since Jiang's faction is attacking Wang right now. Or she could let Wang retire, but reduce the number of standing committee members from seven to five, which would also give him more control. Mm, So we'll have to she how Wang this goes on. I really hate your puns. Hey, don't be a party pooper. But seriously, can Xi Jinping become chairman and change the standing committee? It's hard to say. She's not as powerful as the Western media makes him look. Not yet. When the Congress ends next week and we see the new standing committee, we'll know how much she can change the party in the next five years. So after the party Congress, there's the after party Congress? Mm, 
And you know the best part about all of this? What? What? I could have told you all of this from New York. Speaking of that, did you get my email about sneaking into the Great Hall of the People and getting us some exclusive footage? Uh, Chris, I gotta go. Uh, Shelly? I'm sure she's fine. Thanks, Shelly! And there you have it, the latest from Beijing. The 19th Party Congress will go on and on through next Tuesday. And by then we'll know slightly more about what's going to happen over the next five years. What are your predictions? Leave your comments below. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time. Want more great China Uncensored content? Sure you do. Then go to ChinaUncensored.tv. Every Friday, we upload a complete half-hour episode before it gets chopped up and put on YouTube. So go to ChinaUncensored.tv now to check it out.